Okay. So, here's how to piss off your physics teacher, physics teacher, in a matter of a couple minutes. A couple of minutes. Wow. Can't talk today, can I? All you need to do is tell them, ask them, say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Physics or Mr. Science teacher, um, I have a question for you. Since everything is fields and uh, fields are not particles, um, how can science make any definitive statement about anything? Um, and, of course, they will respond by mentioning Maxwellian field equations. And then you go, Mr. Science teacher, Mr. Professor of uh, Physics, or especially the quantum idiots. The idiots of quantum are the most fun because you can piss them off the easiest. All I have to do is say, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, the uh, four Maxwellian field equations um, only describe a field as an effect over a given period of time with a certain vector. But a field in and of itself, the actual noun, has never been defined by any branch of science. Um, to use the word point or line or change, is not denotative in any way, shape, or form in describing what a field is. Um, if a field were Bob, for example, every branch of modern science, and I have every book ever written on fields, okay? If Bob were a field, or all fields together, we have only defined Bob, as far as science is concerned, by what Bob's effects are over a given vector over a period of time. In other words, we can only talk about Bob over a given time period, over a given vector with a certain effect. It's like, say, Bob walked 10 feet uh, in a southerly direction and then the effect of uh, expelling uh, 9 joules of energy. It's like, well, that's all well and fine as far as what Bob does, whether he jumps or runs or flies or falls. But we've never defined Bob. And every branch of modern science is exactly like this. As far as Bob is concerned, we don't know what Bob looks like. We don't know... If Bob is a Bob or a, uh, um, a a Bobette, you know, we don't know if it's a guy or a girl. We don't know how tall he is. We don't know anything about Bob. Nothing. Nothing. And this is exactly uh, modern science's position. This, don't to take my word for it. Just look it up. Go even look on Wikipedia. Just look underneath the, the word field. You will find absolutely no description of the word field in itself, by itself, of itself. Maxwellian field equations do not define a field in its, of itself only as an effect with a vector over a period of time. So, since everything is fields and fields are not particles, just to ask the Mr. or Mrs. Science teacher, professor, any one of a number of uh, pseudo-intellectual, knuckle-dragging, mental midgets with a degree hanging on their wall with very fancy calligraphy and a little gold seal at the bottom says, excuse me, can you define a field for me? But, 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 uh, humana, 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 humana. They cannot define a field for you. There is no book, nor piece of literature, nor article ever written that has ever defined a damn field. And if you want to piss off your science teacher or professor, because these people are... Here's a neat word for you. Hubristic. That's a fancy way of saying they're full of themselves. They think they know stuff that it is okay not to know the answer to something. What is not okay is to not know the answer to something, but think you do and tell everybody else and pretend like you do to everybody else. You see, that's, that's not good. Because when you think you know the answer to something, then you never go seeking out the answer to that something. Same way like modern religion and other crazy uh, cultish beliefs. It's like, well, I'm sure, you know, after I die, I'm going to go here and it's going to happen. It's like, well, your, your cute little belief system is awesome, but you are not your beliefs. And uh, if you think you know the answers to stuff, you don't go out seeking the answers to those things that you think you know the answer to. So, this is the uh, most huge crack. It is bigger than an ass crack in uh, modern physics and science, especially quantum and relativity, these people are really, they're all atomistic, they're all materialistic. What I actually call it is the cult of bumping particles. So if you ever want to piss off or confuse or make someone stutter, ask a science uh, professor or teacher, someone in physics, to say, what is a field? And then we'll, they will begin to talk like they know something. It's like, no, 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 no. I want to know what a field is in itself. What is a field? A field is not a what. A field is not a thing. And since everything is fields, and fields are not particles, and no branch of science has ever defined a field in itself, of itself, by itself, then I forward to you, rightly so, rightfully so, intelligently so, and artfully so, 
something that Sherlock Holmes himself would be proud of if such a person ever existed, as opposed to him being created out of the mind of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, that modern science is intellectually corrupt because these people are the most hubristic morons on earth. And I will tell you other th something else, lastly so, is that every branch of modern science always thinks it has the answers to stuff, and like 50, 60 years later, they were always proven why those guys didn't know shit. Every time. All the way back to ancient Greeks, and the, well, they, this is the Academy of Sciences. We know what's going on. It's like, no, you don't. 100 years later, 50 years later, always proven wrong, and today is no different. The people that actually got closer to finding a field were ancient Greek Neoplatonists and modern scientists. You actually have to go back to 2,000-year-old literature to find a more accurate definition of a field. Modern science has never, ever defined a field, nor even tried to define a field. To describe Bob only by what he does as an effect over a given period of time is not to describe or define Bob. Bob being a field or fields. Okay? Well, you like this video and drop me a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff. This is how you will confuse and piss off your science or physics or a quantum particle theorist idiot profusely because they will not have the answer to it. They have no answer to this. And it's okay not to know, but they think they know, and that is the problem. <clears throat> that means they're full of themselves. Thank you for watching. Bye.